back of smash fishing. I'm gonna do a small tutorial on a float setup. It's a very simple rig. You can target mackerel, pollock, long nose, scad, anything like that. It's quite an easy rig to tie really, to be honest. And all it consists of, I'm using 80 pound mono just for the tutorial so you can see it. Start off with your float stop. You can either tie the line on or a rubber band or a traditional float stop. It's just a small piece of rubber. You can buy it from any local tackle shop. And all it is, your float stop. Then you go down to a bead. Like so. And your float. So you're starting off like this. Put your float stop, your bead, your float, and another bead, and your weight. So slowly getting there, start off, float stop, bead, float, bead, weight. I just gotta get one more bead. Pop that one on, like so, and then your swivel. Any knot will do, as long as it's a nice strong knot, it'll be fine. I'm just tying anything on this, as it's just a tutorial. Like so, trim it up, make it look nice and fancy. So there we go, if I pull it all down like so, it goes got your float stop, your bead, float, bead, weight, bead, and then swivel. And then from this, you have your trace line. You can use 10, 15 pound if you're going for garfish and mackerel and stuff like that. It's more than adequate on a small spin rod. And all you're doing is tying this on. Your trace can be between two and four feet. I find off the shore that works pretty well for most species. If you're sort of putting a live sand eel on for bass, I'd recommend a bit longer, maybe six feet. Like so. And then I'm going to cut this shorter because I don't have a lot of space. So then your trace in between two and four feet. This is really short just so I can show you. If I'm going for mackerel and long nose and stuff like that, I use a Aberdeen size one. I find that's perfect for most species. I've even picked bream up and stuff like that. So it's all good. Quickly tie this on. Do, 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 do. And that's the whole gist of it, really. So, for it one more time, you have your float stop to your bead, then a float, bead, weight, bead, swivel, and then your trace down to your size one hook. And that there is a that's perfect. That will cut. That will pick up most fish. You set your, you adjust your depth to your location and your marks, and hopefully that will come in handy for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy more fishing videos. There's plenty more to come. It's smash fishing.